Huh, huh. He cheated. He cheated. Tyson Fury, he, he made a move. Watch this. Bye, out Elbow to the dome. You see Francis Ngato ate that like, what? Like what? He ate it. Catches bullets with his teeth. Please. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. We got to talk about it. Tyson Fury, the dirty fighter. Tyson Fury, the cheater. It's all crumbling right about now. Now, Deontay, the bronze woman, Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, my God. To this day. To this, to this day, Deontay done warned you about Tyson Fury's antics. He told you about Tyson Fury and what you can expect. He said that he felt that he was cheated in the fight and Tyson Fury did underhanded things. Well, history repeats itself. Now, Francis Ngannou, first time boxer, in his pro debut, many people believe that he beat Tyson Fury. In his first outing as a boxer, you gotta give the man, well, give the man a hand. You gotta give him a lot of credit, you know? Because Francis Ngannou, he came from the UFC. and He could have fought anybody, but off of a long layoff, he decided to fight Tyson Fury. And I thought he beat him. Where did he get those wonderful toys? Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I am the best in the business. And it's not even close. So I thought Francis Ngannou truly beat Tyson Fury. It wasn't a great... Tyson Fury just looked sloppy, clunky, was getting hurt. He looked probably a bit slower overall. Even when he tried to take a stand, Ngannou was like walking through them and eating them like Scooby Snacks. Now, Ngannou, just like Wilder, is basically accusing Tyson Fury of cheating, which is another L for Tyson Fury and his base. Well, at least in my opinion. So Francis Ngannou's already done interviews and he says that he believes that he should have won the contest. Other people have spoken up and spoken out. Guys like Carl Frotch, who's from the UK. So Ngannou's from Africa. Fury's from the UK. Literally, Carl Frotch, a Caucasian British fighter, is going against his countryman and another Caucasian British fighter, Tyson Fury, saying that this is corruption at the highest level. Ngannou won. He said Fury might not be the same psychologically afterwards. But here's what Ngannou had to say. Ngannou says, unlike the Superman punch, this was effing illegal. So it's the clip that you guys seen where Fury is blunting him and striking him with the elbow. Similar to the KSI fight where the guy got knocked out with the elbow and then complained about it. It's an elbow clear as day. Now, Fury is a big dude with long arms, and I think this is Fury's way of fighting. Backhand you, you know, you're not supposed to leave your jab hand out and, like, use it as a range finder and just stick it out as a probe. But he has long arms, and he does these little dirty things like weighing and, you know, overly clinch, put his body weight on you, try to rough you up. Francis Ngannou seemingly was prepared for everything, and he had the physical strength to rival that to the point where he made it dangerous for Fury to try to try some of these tactics. And even though he did try them, they were short lived. Now I've already talked about the strike, the elbow strike. This is absolutely uncalled for, absolutely insane. The referee absolutely could have deducted a point. And this adds to the walk of shame for Tyson Fury. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing in world boxing. I am your one-stop shop for all your boxing needs. So it's already bad enough that people are saying a first-time boxer, an MMA fighter truly beat you. And this is not just an unpopular opinion. You got many celebrities who are speaking out and saying this is a bad look. Even the guy that just beat Joe Joyce for the second time, you have a Chinese fighter in Zili Zhang. He says that it was an embarrassment to boxing because he believes the MMA fighter beat the boxer. So this is not going anywhere anytime soon for Tyson Fury. But to add insult to injury, 
I mean, this is the problem with certain fights like this, where you do these circus fights and then you have a circus ending and now your whole rep, your whole demeanor, your aura, your legacy, you being a champion is all in tatters. That's why I feel like people should fight the necessary fights. Like, let's say Errol Spence. Errol Spence lost to Terrence Crawford. Absolutely. However, you lost to a brilliant fighter in your niche. So that's that's not really that bad. You lost to an elite level, great fighter who boxes and has been boxing just as long as you, if not longer. You know what I mean? And moved up through division. So he has experience. Yada, yada, yada. He has power. So there's really no shame in losing. Nobody wants to lose. I get it. But there's no shame in it, right? There is shame when you lose to someone outside of your realm. Like, for example, I rap. I've always written, been a great writer, and I rap, right? So if I was rapping and then we did, I did like a battle and I rap battle somebody or do a diss song, let's say a diss song, right? And then my diss song is weak and then the person I'm dissing is... Hootie and the Blowfish or a country music singer and then they do a rap. The country music singer do a rap embody me. I mean, that's hard to come back from. Like, it's even like Drake said. He said, you get embodied by a singing ninja. You know what I mean? Like, that's not supposed to be the case. It's like almost like LL Cool J and Cannabis. Cannabis is the underground MC and you're losing to somebody who went pop, you know, and had poppy songs and, um, you know, romantic songs and when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call. Like you're not supposed to lose those battles. But if the consensus is you did lose the battle, like I said, if I'm rapping in a country music singer and me are beefing and then they beat me at my own game, that's even worse when someone could beat you at your old game. And that's what Ngannou did. Now, surprisingly, with the elbow strike, the cheat, Tyson Fury didn't get deducted any points and a guy in the UFC who's allowed to throw kicks and elbows and spinning back fists and different, it's a, st it's, it's a different style of combat. You would think if anybody was going to try to resort to breaking boxing rules, it would be the non-boxer. But that wasn't the case here. You had Ngannou, who he fought a clean fight. There was nothing that I could recall that Ngannou did where I would say, oh, Ngannou's fighting dirty, which is surprising. And that's... It, further adds to the Tyson Fury L that you're the pro boxer and you let an MMA fighter fight a cleaner boxing fight and arguably beat you. That's just an L. And then you're the one who's frustrated to the point where you're trying to cheat and throw elbow strikes. And then fast forward to the future, the outcome was what it is. The next day, you look like a bruised turd and he looks like he's not even been in the fight. And then post-fight, they ask you about Usyk. You were saying all this hoopla about Usyk must fight you December 23rd or you'll sue him and it'll be breach of contract. I already made a video about this. Listen, if you love boxing, then you love me. I'm the best in the business. So check some of those other types of Fury videos I made and you'll get more on the Usyk. But all in all, he said Usyk had to fight him de December 23rd. No ifs, ands, or buts. You completely undermined and underestimated Francis Ngannou and now it's looking bad for you. Now you're saying you need more time to recover. Your face looks beat up. Nganu's roasting you. The public is roasting you. Nganu's basically saying you're cheating, which is exactly what Deontay Wilder said. So in closing, I got to close with my man, Deontay DeBron, Mama Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh my God. Right? Wilder is looking like a saint. He's looking like a prophet. He's looking like a soothsayer. Because at the end of the day, Wilder claimed a bunch of people were on drugs. And then some of these people popped dirty, like Dillian White, for being on drugs, right? He claimed that Tyson Fury was a cheater and had his little magician tricks that he would do, dirty boxing and all kinds of cheat gloves and stuff. And then you see Tyson Fury, clear as day, throwing elbow strikes. And he's the boxer, and he's throwing elbow strikes to the MMA fighter trying to really rattle him. Because even if you look at Francis Ngannou's eyes when he gets hit, like that elbow probably hurt. And 
credit to Nganu because his eyes like almost rolled a little bit and he just ate it. That I mean, that was pretty impressive that you could get hit because like KSI hit the guy. And that's not even a lifelong fighter. And he hit the dude with the elbow and knocked the dude out. So Nganu just ate the stuff. Clearly a strong dude. And this is what gave Fury all the problems in the world. Subscribe to my channel. Tyson Fury cheated. Wilder warned you. And now Nganu saying the same thing. History repeats itself best in the business cinema. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation Fives, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.